just to check real quick research still in progress going next level now the improved combat armor should be done pretty soon i can't build another foxtrot not only do we not have enough hanger slots but also i don't have the money for it i only have 160,000. we we'll get a big bonus for the end of the month for now we can just wait we'll just speed up time uh, local forces downed a small alien craft way over there in North America. They are requesting Xenonaut assistance to secure the vessel. I believe there are going to be two of these this month. They are scripted to happen. Where they happen is random, but they are supposed to happen. And they are done to ensure that you have some mission to do. So if you do put a base in a really awkward spot, combat armor is done. Go to the research screen. We might have our first night mission. We will research those alien alloys. Put all the scientists on, not shift click, control click is the way to do it. And we'll begin ma making some armor. How much can we do? That's a good question. We can do a few suits. We'll put everybody on a few suits. That'll be 90,000 spent. Um, I don't want to spend all of our money in case I need to hire more soldiers, but three suits should be good. We'll give that to the uh, probably standard riflemen who will go out scout and we'll have snipers and I already did that. And we'll have snipers and all that handle it. Uh, if it is nighttime, oh my gosh. It's close. It's really close. But we're doing it. Nighttime. It's one that they downed. Nighttime, your guys have flares automatically. You don't have to equip them like you did in the original XCOM games, where if you forgot flares, oops, everybody dies. Um, this game, everybody has flares. I think each person has two flares. You can throw them, but you cannot pick them up. Their range is a little wonky. Uh, well, not really wonky. It's normal range. It's just uh, doesn't light as much as you would hope. And you have to see the flare in order for it to help you out any. Uh, ship is undamaged, which is a little weird for me because it said the local forces downed it. Uh, I really think just flat out saying a UFO has landed. So, yeah. Uh, secure the UFO hold for five turns, not just three is the alternate victory condition. And failing is losing all of your units or just straight up abandoning. And here we are, there's the flare there. Everybody gets two. Yeah, okay. So, James Molesky, step on out. The music for nighttime is phenomenal. I do love it. Let's throw it out there. Okay, so there is that way to go. And he does have a second one still. Just stay put there for now. We have to take this very slowly, very carefully. Because nighttime missions are absurdly dangerous. We'll have you go out next turn and throw. Um, there we go. That'll be fine. Come on out. Throw another flare down here. Alright, see so yeah, it doesn't light very much, but it is necessary. Especially for leaving the craft. We'll get you up in, up in that corner. A uh, couple... Uh, assuming we can end this turn and not die, we'll get Team Rocket sitting at the front of the craft there on either side, able to shoot wherever. I don't know where we parked. There's no good way to figure out where the corners are that I know of. So for all I know, we're in the very middle. Although I don't think that's actually a spawn location for the Chinook. I think it always lands... Or sorry, Condor. I don't think it lands uh, anywhere except corners. I think you can... Oh, okay. So you can kind of tell then. All right. So there's a corner there. All right. So we're in one of the bottom corners then. There's another corner. Okay. So you can tell. Kind of like you could in the originals in a way. So that's the corner there. And then... All right. Objective. You get to this corner. Priority. Um, could make a run for these rocks and hope for the best. Are you an important person? No. Well, I guess everybody's kind of important. Team Rocket's the most important, though. You only have, uh, two. Mmm... What's the name of those? Uh... I used to know. I forgot. I want to say it started with, like, a C or an S, maybe? I don't remember the name. All right, get behind a rock and crouch behind it. Grab some cover. We have two corners we got to get to. Throw a flare just past that rock. That's your destination. Next turn, you're out of timing. It's completely. I suppose we might be able to get our sniper to crouch here. Nobody died. Nobody got shot at. So we'll park Team Rocket on the...
corners here, allowing us to shoot anything, shoot at anything along the side. Hide behind the cactus, I think that's kind of cover. It used to have like little cover markers prior to moving. You could just like hover over and you could see which direction it's cover for. Looks like they got rid of that though. Oh. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, being shot at from two different directions. Jesus. <laughs> I've never had our ship shot before. That makes a really neat echo sound. There is one down there though. Got it. Throw a flare way down there. Uh. All right. And we got one way over here as well. Just give that a really good throw. Ah. Oh, shit, there he is. Okay, crouch. We see him. The sniper does not have a shot. This guy, however, does have a shot. It's just outside his weapon's effective range. Uh, I suppose we'll go for a 30 timing that shot and then reposition. It is a civilian. We haven't fought one of these yet this playthrough. They do regenerate health, so it's best to focus fire on them. They are pretty dangerous. All right, we got shot from over there, so get on this side of the rock. I think here could be good. I'm hoping you're clear behind you. Oh, Team Rocket guy sees him hiding behind a bush there. Nice vision. Um, Yeah, let's go for it. Only a 3% chance to hit. We'll try it. We suppressed him. That's good. That'll allow you to get inside the ship. Not necessarily in cover, but behind the ship. Or in the ship, at least. And we will shoot over our guy here, go for another shot. His cover has been destroyed. Direct hit in the face. Two rockets, got him dead. Nice job, Team Rocket. Very good support, Team Rocket. And then we got that guy up there. Sniper, if we reposition with our sniper, move him back a bit, like back here, perhaps. Uh, still no shot. That's fine. Kneel there for now. I'm hoping we're clear behind you. Can we throw a flare? No, that requires so many time units to throw. All right, I think we'll be okay. Masaka Fujita might take a shot in the knee or something like that from a burst fire. A single shot and then a three round burst. All of them missed. And some loud fire there for your listening pleasure. Enjoy that. Sniper, take a step to the side, turn. Um, now you should be able to shoot him if we can find him. Move behind this side of the rock. Take a glance. Nice job. Okay, good. And crouch behind cover. You do have a shot. Um, which is a little scary because that means that this cactus isn't actually cover. Go ahead and take it. Missed. Fair enough. Our sniper has moved, so his accuracy with a sniper rifle has been reduced. But we'll kneel and go for an accurate shot anyway. Uh, oh, looks like he's... Oh, he's just off. He just can't see him. Alright. From here, then. Definitely see him there. So we'll have him crouch. Next turn, he will shoot. Team Rocket, reload, and then move out. There you go. May as well have you stand up. No reason to have you crouching still. And we'll move a guy from Team Rocket over here. To provide covering fire for in case a sniper misses. Katerina Chikova. Can't quite see him. Take another step out. I, I keep out of habit turning before hovering over. You don't need to do that though. If they're off to your side, you can still hover over and it'll still give you percentages. I don't know why I insist on turning toward them. We'll go for a quick 20 time minute shot just to scare him a bit. Perhaps suppress him. No, no suppression. All right, and then step off to the side. Check. Line of sight. There is none. Good. Stay there. Turn that way because you'll be moving out that way. We'll make it as easy as possible for you. And then Caius Yasuda. I think we're clear over there. There is a rock down here that you could just barely get behind. Let's make a run for it. We have a member of Team Rocket here ready to help out in case there is another guy down here. Always, always, always have backup. Another three-round burst from the civilian. 
all of the mist. I think he might be a little low on ammo. He is starting to run off now, so our sniper no longer has proper vision of him. We'll get Masaka to peek out around the corner. We do still see him. And the sniper no longer has a shot. Bastard alien. All right, Masaka. Throw out a flare. Throw a flare at the alien and get back behind cover. Back behind cover. Thank you. Mm, might be okay. Yeah, it's full body cover. Now you can take a shot. 42 time units. Spend them. Oh, nailed him. Didn't kill him, though. One shot will not be enough to kill him. You step out a little bit. Yeah, let's, uh... Let's have you pop out, take a shot. <laughs> there is a bush in the way. Um, 30 time units shot, that's fine. And then get in the ship. There we go. Because we're about to prepare for trouble. We won't be making a double, though. Just one rocket guy. Oh, a direct hit. Fantastic shot, Karsten. Oh, man. Team Rocket. Um... There are more. I haven't found their ship yet. Our sniper... Let's get you behind this rock here. It is half cover, I believe. You should be able to shoot over it. And if you crouch, you should still be able to shoot over it. Yes, I think T is a... No, T is for end turn. Well, that's fine. I think R, actually, is um for shooting. Yeah, R is the hotkey for shooting. There we go. Quick way to do it so I don't have to keep clicking on that. I always try to learn hotkeys and get used to them. Little tower there. Not sure if it's cover. A little rock here? No, it's a bush. Uh-oh. That's not really good cover. Oh my gosh, the ambiance in this is... It's actually horrifying. I believe the people who did the music for Amnesia The Dark Descent did the music for this game, if I'm not mistaken. I think they did all of it, or maybe just part of it. I think it's the same guys, though. Kind of a little factoid for you there. If you're into that sort of thing. You need, you, you already reloaded, okay. Take a peek around this side. That is this corner. All right. We have two corners established. I am assuming this corner is clear. Nothing shot at me yet. Uh, probably would have been shot at if there is anything over there. Oh, we have infinite flares? Oh, shit. When that change? I had no idea. It used to be two. I guess it's infinite now. I didn't even notice. Well, flares out, boys and girls. Jeez, may as well. I thought it was two per. I definitely think that should be limited. Or, even better, nice thing to... Uh, for difficulty curve, if you're playing this on easy, sure, infinite flares. Playing it on a medium, five flares each, three flares each. Playing it on hard, two flares each, maybe just one flare each. Something like that. I always like stuff like that. Like on hard mode, you know, the target thing to kind of scout and see what covers in the way. Like this bush, there's a 75% chance for me to shoot over it. Or 75% chance, I think, for me to hit it. Um, Maybe on hard not tell you that or something. I don't know. Then again, I always like cruel and unusual punishment when it comes to hard difficulties in games. I think, can you shoot past that? Uh, you kind of can. Bush is in the way, though. We'll use the bush as cover, that's fine. We'll hide behind it for now. Rifle dude on the south side of the rock. Uh, shouldn't do that, because now you can't crouch. Might be okay. We'll have you move up behind this rock-ish. Team Rocket dude, move up to the front of the ship, as well as other Team Rocket person. And crouch to maximize accuracy for next turn, potentially, in case there is anything right over there. Can you throw over this rock? I don't think so. No, you can't. All right. And spend just about all of your time units throwing it Arrgh! over there. We have more cover. And I do believe that is where their ship will be, right here. I do believe. Very nearly done, I think. It was a very small ship, I think. Very small, so there's probably... It was probably a light scout, so we'll go f four civilians. We'll have to move up to this crate here on the corner and crouch. There we go, you're protected from some angles. Sniper, move up to this side of this rock. Seems to be the best bet, unless there's something right up there, but I'm hoping there isn't. And crouch down just for funsies. 
and we'll have you move up to this rock and that should give you adequate accuracy of this area shooting through those boxes there i think that's where the ship is so move up to this rock and crouch behind it with james next turn he can throw a flare and as far as team rocket goes where is that ship it's not going to tell me he used to be able to do that he fixed it though staying where the ship was like that uh we'll have you move up to this rock and crouch behind it i think if you crouch behind it you can't shoot over it oh no you still can good that makes that a little easier then and you can hide behind the bush because apparently these little cacti things are really good cover yeah all right so that's cover for pretty much everybody then you can hang out next to the rock on that side and do we have another thing of cover over here somewhere maybe a small rock there Way up there, breathe through the flare. All right, how about... Uh, nobody else has time to throw. All right, get on this side of the rock and just hang out then. We'll make a run for the, I suppose, tall cactus. This side's kind of bad. Uh, I guess that's it. Very slow going, taking it very cautiously because you can be shot at any moment. Case and point. Right, all right, you got shot from that direction, through a flare that way. It's probably behind boxes over here. Nothing yet. Masaka, Masaki, rather. There's the ship. Couple warning rockets. Why not? Hit him. Didn't kill him. Uh, shoot another rocket over there. Nothing. Alright. You do not have enough time units to move. We will get you to move on this side of the boxes, though. There he is. He's suppressed. You have to move in order to see him. A little weird. Alright. I'm okay with it, though. It's outside of your weapon's effective range, but if you crouch, you might still be able to nick him with a bullet. Uh, 40 time units. Or a 30 and a 20? Yeah, let's go for a 30 and a 20. Oh, jeez, this friendly fire is a little close there. Maybe we shouldn't go for this, but I'm going for it anyway. All right. Yeah, that was way left. All right, and Katarina, same deal. It's outside of your weapon's effective range, but we can take a fairly accurate shot at him. Try to hit him. All right. That didn't work too well. Sniper from way downtown. From downtown! Wow. All right. Not the greatest. That's fine. The only people who are in trouble right now is James Molesky. He is suppressed, though. Um, If I move there, then you're not really making use of the cover, I don't think. But right now, you're not in any cover. Well, you're kind of in cover. All right. Who's Soldier 2? You? Can you reload? No. Soldier 3? No. All right, I keep pressing escape for end turn. That's not the button for it, though. Uh, he was suppressed. Reduces action units, and he stood up and turned around. He is still not behind any cover. Uh, making my life fairly easy. You can reload, but you cannot shoot. However, oh, you don't have pistols. Ah, right, I took the pistols off. All right, you can reload, but not shoot. Next turn. Next turn. First fire? Yeah, let's go for it. Necked him and suppressed him. I think that's one of the benefits of uh, the burst fire, is your ability to suppress with it. And because there are two boxes between me and him, this guy has to shoot over one of them. Unless... Sneak around this side. I'm hoping we're clear up there. Uh, 40 time units. I'll leave you with 14. Yeah, that'd be fine. 45% chance. Got him. Got him dead. Fantastic shot, Masaki Fujita. Move there, crouch, and turn. Beautiful. And Sniper just looked pretty. Team Rocket is ready to move out. I don't know what to do with you, really. Just stay put for now. We really should get somebody over to that rock, though. All right, I'll tell you what. Hug the edge of the map and work your way up, yeah? Might be okay doing that. We have both of you to do it. And 
soldier one, you're the sniper, that's fine. I think we're okay. End turn. There might be one dude left inside the ship, or perhaps around the back side of the ship. Could be either or. Just in case, though, let us throw a flare up here. I'm almost certain if there was an alien up there, he would have shot at us by now. Sniper cannot quite make it up to there. As far as that thing for cover, fairly decent uh, in some cases. Nothing's coming out of the ship yet, though. Should I shoot a couple rockets? Should I knock on the door? I don't want to destroy anything important, but at the same time, I don't want to run somebody up there and not have time units to handle whatever comes out. I suppose we should get people up to these boxes and crouch behind them. That'd be a safe bet, yeah? You've already spent your time units. Oh. Team Rocket can move up to that one, but nothing really much else. Team Rocket's kind of okay here, though. I mean, they can both shoot at the door. Well, this guy can. It's that cover there that's kind of in the way. Oh, no, you can you can sort of shoot over it. Fuck it, let's just shoot rockets at the door. Press R, there we go. Ah, didn't blow the door down. Damn. Alright, we got plenty of rockets, so that's fine. Auto change position with the sniper. We'll get you up along this rock. That'll allow you to shoot straight down, I believe. Yeah, you can shoot at the front door too, so kneel down there, you're A-OK. -okay. We'll get Masaki to move down to these boxes as well, just in case. Because I don't want friendly fire to happen with a sniper rifle. They'll reload next turn. And you two, we're hugging the side of the map. Crouch there. I think we'll be OK there. I think there might be a guy over here. I think, if I remember rightly, there's more boxes there. We'll end turn as they don't have enough 10 minutes to do anything else. Reload, reload. Throw a flare straight up there. Uh, we'll have you throw a flare too? Why not? Yeah. Good job. So, shooting the ship doesn't do anything? Oh, you don't have time units now. Someday they'll have time units to do that. If you move here, you should be able to shoot. Yeah, you can shoot, like, around anything. But now you can't shoot past him, but you are in cover, as is James Phillips. I need somebody to breach that door. That's why I would like Jackal Armor and a dude with a machine gun, because they'll be able to open the door. Uh, I think Mutual uh, Surprise, I think it's called, something like that. You both discover each other on the same turn, therefore no reaction fire takes place, allowing you to do a burst fire point blank and take out any alien that could potentially be there. I think that's a thing. Could be wrong. Move around the side of the ship here. Oh shit. There's one up there. Can you throw a flare way back there? Yeah, you can. Nice. We see him. Uh, and you have just enough time to take a shot, too. While kneeling. Yeah. All right. Let's get this guy. There's a couple boxes in the way. For your shot. As well as, you know, the giant tree. Um. Well. You, sir. You need to move. It's just all there is to it. You got to get out of there. I think he might die, though. Okay, Team Rocket, reposition. Get there, crouch, and then turn. Here we go. The box should still act as cover. Not fantastic cover, but cover nonetheless. Let's see if there's any cover over here for the other Rocket guy to move up. I don't remember. I've probably blown it up if there is anything. Doesn't look like it. All right. Let's uh, make a run for that box there, then. Just throw an uh, as far as you can over there. You threw it at the boxes. That's okay, I guess. No, not that. All right. Well, I suppose then just move to the rock, and we'll get you up there eventually. Let's move this sniper to here. That's a good spot. And crouch. 
that'll allow you to shoot him next turn, and you are behind cover for now. I think this guy is going to get shot. Mm. Ooh, two single shots, no burst fire. Probably a mistake on the alien's part. That one shot did hit, though. James Molesky is bleeding a little bit. He took a small bit of damage. Whoops, it changed person on me. Thanks, game. Uh, take a shot, and then... Oh, no, the, he moved behind cover. What a jerk. Jerkbag civilians, man, I'm telling you. All right, can we do two shots? We can do two 22% chance shots. That's not very good. 32, we can't pull that off. We could pull off a 32 and a 22, though. Suppressed him with the first one. All right, it was only 20% for that, uh, 20 time units for that last shot because he had turned. Um, 40 time minutes, yes. Yeah, go for it. Then we can go for a 20. Nice. Team Rocket, move up. Um, right, yeah, you're doing that. Open the door while you're here. There we go. Aha, we're in! And Rocket Guy, check, rather, Rocket Check. Go ahead and blast him in the face and then crouch behind the box. Nice, he shot the side of the ship and I think it nicked James somehow. I don't think it should have been able to do that. Hmm. All right, well, for now, do that and hide behind him. Who do we have left? Five and six, it's you two. Let's get you guys going here. We got to get medical attention to him inside the ship. We'll end the turn as we can do nothing else. The alien will suppress so he doesn't have any time units. He opts to run behind the ship. Loud fire sound. And notification for bleeding damage. Took two damage. He has 12 turns left. Looks like the rocket didn't actually hit him. Good. I'm glad because it shouldn't have. You don't have enough time to throw a grenade back there or a flare rather. It's fine. We'll get you to move up behind this box and crouch. Um, sniper change position behind this box and crouch. We see the alien. It didn't stop, though. Usually the pre people stop as soon as they see an alien. Not this time, though, and you no longer have enough time to shoot. Um, you wouldn't be able to shoot him from here anyway. From here you still couldn't, but better than nothing. I think you need to reload still. We'll flush him out. And Soldier 7, that's you. You're in the ship though, so just stay there. Oh, sniper being shot at. Oh, very close. Very, very, very close. Destroyed his cover. He is no longer behind cover, which could spell the alien's doom, because that means that is one less thing for me to have to shoot over. Let's go for that. Hit him, didn't suppress him, but you're able to move behind that thing. Which doesn't actually act as any cover for you at all whatsoever. Great, okay, well, Karsten. Uh, potentially saving a life here. Shoot the back end of the ship. The explosive radius was enough to kill the civilian. Nice shot, Karsten. And that was the last one. He did that, the game froze. I think it just ended, though. I think we're fine. There we are, mission successful. UFO secured, 10 points, 4 aliens killed. There were no civilians or local forces. Or if there were, they died. Uh, nope, they didn't die. No casualties down there. Fine, so total score 18, average, sent the civilian on combat corpse, combatant corpse 2, research, got 36 alien alloys, got some money for the pistol, good stuff, some promotions, lieutenant, sergeant, man, we survived a night mission without a death, that is actually, I'm impressed with myself.